welcome viewers to a journey into the heart of cutting edge technology and military might. In today's video, we unravel the secrets and strengths behind the colossal nuclear powered aircraft carriers, the backbone of American naval power. Join us as we explore the fascinating world of these maritime giants, from their incredible capabilities to the challenges they face. Before we set sail into this exploration, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss out on our gripping content. Now, let's dive into the realm of naval dominance. The massive nuclear-powered aircraft carrier stands as a distinctive symbol of American military prowess. No other combat system rivals its capability to deliver sustained offensive blows for months without relying on a nearby ground base. Consequently, the 10 carriers in the current fleet are consistently in demand from regional commanders, leading to overseas combat becoming a commonplace occurrence. The indisputable value of these big deck operators is evident as no other country operates a fleet large enough to keep three or more carriers deployed at all times. However, two recurring problems have raised questions about why aircraft carriers became the centerpiece of the American Navy. One issue is their perceived high cost. Although proponents argue that the expenses are a mere fraction of the federal budget and necessary for achieving U.S. military goals, the other concern is their vulnerability to attacks. Critics argue that the cost of aircraft carriers is underestimated as it does not account for the expenses of their escorts. Despite this, there is no credible alternative for achieving military objectives in the absence of these carriers. The challenge is exacerbated by the necessity for more ships to replace carriers in conflict scenarios. Placing 5,000 sailors and dozens of high-performance aircraft on a $10 billion warship creates a lucrative target, posing a significant challenge to America's enemies. However, the likelihood of any enemy reaching a carrier without resorting to weapons is nearly non-existent. Five compelling reasons support the resilience and effectiveness of big deck operators. Nimitz-class carriers, including the upcoming Ford-class carriers, are the largest warships ever built. With 25 decks, they move at speeds of up to 35 mph, outrunning submarines and making them challenging to locate and track. Formidable defenses. Carriers are equipped with extensive active and passive defenses, including sensors, radar-guided missiles, and a Gatling gun. The air wing with 60 aircraft enhances defense capabilities, detecting threats from long distances. A carriers operate as part of a carrier strike group, accompanied by guided missile warships with advanced combat systems. These tactics maximize survivability and ensure coordinated action against the enemy. Fuel tactics. Carriers avoid risks when deployed near potential adversaries, evolving operational tactics to balance defense and offense effectively. Despite emerging threats, the Navy invests in new offensive and defensive technologies to counter hazards. The unification of navies in an area maximizes the potential of sensors and weapons. In conclusion, while concerns about cost and vulnerability persist, the unique capabilities of aircraft carriers, coupled with evolving technologies and strategic tactics, affirm their crucial role in maintaining American military dominance. As we conclude our deep dive into the world of aircraft carriers, it's evident that these colossal vessels stand as more than just symbols of power. They are technological marvels reshaping the landscape of modern warfare, from their unmatched offensive capabilities to the intricate strategies that surround their deployment. Aircraft carriers remain unmatched in projecting force across the world's oceans. If you found this exploration as intriguing as we did, give us a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments below, and, of course, stay tuned for more riveting content. Until next time, fair winds and following seas. Thank you.